Yeah. But he tried the Squirtle, but he gave up relatively fast. He did. Like, yeah. he, he would play for like uh, like a couple of seconds, and he hit once or twice, and he would switch off again. Yeah. I don't know. But I felt like he didn't really utilize Charizard like just grabs in general, like yeah. Super Because all the time Nitro was hitting a shield as Charizard, but he just wouldn't up be at all. And that's a really That was one thing I was looking at. Like, why there's no out of shield at B? Like, that's probably one of. Or up smash. Or up smash. Yeah. Like, those two options are like really good. Just to like, like kind of get off me options. Yeah. So I'm just kind of surprised he didn't go for it. Oh. Well, on stream now we have Lumbre versus Syro. I want to see how this goes because Nesk and Lefgar are living out of Roy, but at the same time, Roy can kill Nesk really early. That, yes. It's, it kind of works both ways here. Um, I feel like Ness has universally kind of struggled against sword characters in the past, but Reese, he's actually really good in this game. So, especially with Yo-Yo at ledge. Oh yeah, yeah. Yo-Yo destroys people all stage. It destroys, it negates so many matchups. And PK Fire is absurdly good. Like, I know yeah. it's kind of like a, a spammy move that they use in neutral, but if it hits, it is so good. It's also better because SDI got nerfed in this game, so it's a lot harder to fall exactly. off the move. And Nesk can just get a lot of falls off of the show. You got a lot of indirect buffs. Yeah. Which is the mechanics of the game. Because you can't spam air dodge anymore. It's Yo! hard to get covered both the horizontal and the vertical. Okay. Yeah. It's a lot harder to get away from this because you can't spam air dodge. So a lot of this moves now just inherently frame trap you. Yes. That's how they work. And I feel like you have to be a specific range of characters to like successfully negate his neutral because a lot of the time he's just zoning with aerials and by the time he finishes his end lag it's already safe for the most part yeah unless you have a specific range it's yes. really hard to punish one nest does like if you have a disjoint like a sword or something you're gonna have a much better time versus somebody who's up close just because of the nature of his neutral just so it looks like Cyrus having a bit of a tough time yep, yep. there it is that's what I mean stage. Yo, yo, baby. Just negates characters like this. Yep, I negates think, me. I think all sorties have trouble recovering versus it. Oh, no, he does. Yeah, um, yeah I think every sortie has trouble, would have trouble because a lot yes. of them don't actually really go past that at all. And yeah. no, the only they, one I can see is maybe Morcina because they yes. might be able to, they might like, be able to trade with Of the early poke through ledge, kind of yeah. hit him. Yeah, but yeah. even then, they can still get hit by it, especially if the Ness decides to release it early. Exactly. Number a solid restock. Oh. Okay, nice back so Sarah will see that, bring it back. So he has a lot of work to do because he has to get through all those aerial hitboxes that Ness can just kind of throw out there without dying or getting thrown off stage. Because right now, if he gets thrown off stage, that's a really big punish. Potentially kill him, actually. Yeah. Okay, so trying to catch his recovery with the magnet. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. A couple okay. of good more hits, and he's, he's back in the game. Okay, good carry yep. on that. Yeah, he's back in the game. Counter? He doesn't even need to. So I would think about six to seven hits in neutral of advantage state. Syro wins the game. Um, three. Maybe uh, that was weaker than I thought. Yeah, that was Syro's spot. Yeah, but uh, I'll, I'll give him like six more hits and he wins the game. That counts as one. Oh, tries to go for okay, the that, that, that may have literally been it. Oh, nice catch. Yeah. Roy's recovery very linear. Really easy to hit him off stage. Oh, Lumbre with a really solid start, but Syro did bring it back really heavily towards the end. Started Lum getting Lumbre has he's been playing really confident recently. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he gives me he he gives me a hard time. Yeah, he's he's beaten you like the past few yes. matches. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is one of the matches where like you want to go in because they throw out so many hitboxes. You have like, to. Not necessarily. If you have lead, you have no reason to approach universally, but. I think it's just, I don't know. I think it's just a fact he could just. He can throw a lot of hitboxes, and that's like a lot of people want to approach him because they don't want either want to get the lead so they don't have to do on that, or they want to try to punish those multiple hitboxes that he throws up. But like, this is still like, you still have to play this very patiently. Yes. And wait for that one hitbox that he throws out that isn't actually safe, or that he kind of yes. misspaces. So the general neutral against playing against Ness is you want to play passive aggressive, so you go right outside his zone, you don't commit to anything until you get his general pattern of neutral. Yeah. He has a general pattern of uh, aerials he's going to use to zone to try, try to bait something from you, not intended to hit you, but to bait something from you. And it's your job to really realize at what point of those aerials is he using is an opening. And then you weave in back and forth and try to punish. Oh, that's unfortunate. He got the jab, but unfortunately nice he did not get the strong hit back air. Yep, there that it was is. Such a, that, that, was, was that was clean. 
that tech into kill setup. Caught Lumbridge on Lumbray air dodging back onto the stage. We'll get hit by TK Fire. Was able to shield in time. Lumbray not actually opting for anything, waiting for Cyrox to in action. But Cyrox kind of sitting their shield saying that. This is where Cyro has the lead, or has a strong advantage now because Ness's disadvantage is notoriously bad. He can't really approach at all. That was a really good angle for the recovery. Nice wait. Oh, no, no, not like this, man. Oh, ah, wow. He really wanted to get that back air low. Yeah. I was, I, I was half expecting him just to run off and dare. I'm, su I'm surprised he can go for counter. That too. I would counter that one. Oh, uh, no, it doesn't matter, though. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Boy's sweet spot F smash hurts. So this set looks like it's going to go really back and forth. When you have close quarters, Roy does really well. When you have a little bit more space to work with, Ness does really well. And when we see game three, because I think game three is kind of imminent at this point. Yeah, Cyro has a really strong lead. Unless he goes for the really hard, Ness has wow, to approach it. Wow, that actually does help him out a lot. That middle platform with um, up Probably, yeah. yeah, I never realized that. Yeah, Roy's up beat shield is actually really good. Because it has super armor on the top, so even if it's, it's still relatively fast, but even if you throw another hitbox, you will beat it out because yeah. it's Cyro doing a really good job of just keeping Wally Lumbre out now with these moves. Yeah. So, just waits for the PK Rocket to finish. I don't think he wants to get hit by this percent. Nice. Wait, just catches it. Game yeah. three, baby. Yeah. Smashville did help, though, because Lumbre was not able to keep Zona out at this point. He had the platform in the middle, it's just, which helped him jump yeah. around all the hitbox in the car. Yeah. When Roy is center stage, and it's very small in close quarters, it is very hard. Just because of his... Um, you have no, you don't really have an opportunity to zone if you're, because like when you're hit once by Roy, and he has advantage state, and it's close quarters. It's very hard to zone. There's not much to zone with such a small space. Yeah, and Roy's just really fast in the air or on the ground. That and when he's center stage facing you, and you're kind of closer to off stage, obviously, it's much harder to play the neutral. Something like this. So Lumbre is going for a bigger stage, kind of more space, more space to. You see, that's safe pressure, and he has to get out. Now he's waiting. Oh, yeah, super armor through. Yeah. Well done. And that's what I was talking about. Like, it doesn't matter if you throw a hitbox up. He up ease and it's on the ground. He has that armor to start up to just kind of ignore what you just did. Exactly. This is actually a lot closer. This is actually a lot. You can see this is a lot better. Wow. You like, get off the ledge. You have to. Pressure. Yeah. But at the same time, this is. Oh! Surprised he didn't Ooh. go for F smash. Or down smash, actually. Or F tilt. That would work. Any move. Really, yeah. Okay, catches him with the pivot slide. All right, so this is now Cyro's game because he has all the pressure. He has a 34% lead and a stock at the same time. So this is where Lumber has to do something quick to seal the stock up before Cyro gets any more of the lead. Okay. Yo, yo. Good. Yep, there it is. Oh, does it too late, but we'll have to roll it anyways so, like, without smash. I think the yo yo didn't peek under ledge. That was Wait, no, it did peek, it's the hitbox didn't come out. Ah. Hey, Riggs is here. Yeah, there isn't an initial hitbox. It's like uh, you know, the charge has to come out first. Okay. Before that move actually that happens. Yeah, start up with move has to finish before it actually does anything. See, you can see how this space. Now, notice how every time someone's center stage, facing other person, they tend to have a lot of advantage. And it kind of just works this way for both characters. The person on the outside typically has to work a little bit more. So because now not only do they have to reclaim center stage, yes. they have to avoid getting hit at the same time. Yes. All right. And yeah. a lot of the guys' pressure are very safe. Ooh, hard oh. read. Was oh, worth bad it? DI. That was, that was really bad, bad DI. DI. I think he was expecting up there. Yeah, I don't think he should have opted for F smash, especially just I think any aerial would have been fine, that's fine. Okay, anyone's game. Anyone's game here. Yeah, they're all on the platform, so when he got that jab, I think Lumber was expecting the upgrade instead of the back air, but got caught off. Thrown off stage, this is really good. Okay, we'll just get back to Ooh. Nice option. He, he realized the platform, even if he missed, he probably would not be as punished as hard. Yeah, because that platform just exactly. kind of saved his life. Okay, wait, nice, oh. wait. Catches the all right, this No is really jump. Bad not okay. I swear his extra his air dodge is an extra jump. It is. Him, Yoshi, and Jimmy fucking all do that. It this is, is it. Really good. This is it. 100. percent This is it. No dump. Yep. Oh, catch yep. Oh. Mm. 
Oh, oh, game. Oh, oh no. Oh, he Whiffed the attack cancel. cancel. Yeah. Ah, no. Oh, this is the no. worst thing. This <laughs> Sweating. Oh, see, see, he has to move. Actually, has to come up before the, the hitbox is actually active. Nice peek through. Yep, oh, I felt that coming. Slide. Well done. That's just something people don't expect. Roy's pivot slides are actually really good. It's not a little Mac level where he just flies across the page, but he still does does do, get like a decent distance. Yeah, what's crazy is that down smash near the end was frames away from taking the game. Yep. If that had come, if he had done it just a tad bit earlier, it would have hit him. Yep. That's crazy. Because the charge didn't start yet, Cyro was able to snap the ledge before it did anything. That was really close though. He almost, he almost got hit off stage and just skimmed. 